Now dozens of South Carolina children are in their forever homes tonight. More than 70 adoptions were finalized in courthouses all over the state that happened this morning and this afternoon. Our Jason Raven tells you more. It was a special day for many families across South Carolina. Now five judges in courthouses, just like the Sumter County Courthouse here behind me, gave the okay to more than 70 public adoptions Monday. What a way to end this day. Now with the holiday season right around the corner, dozens of families in South Carolina grew. Now the state's judicial branch declared Monday as statewide adoption day. What I'm doing here today is simply the legal end of this matter. This adoption has already occurred <laughs> here. I'm merely ratifying legally what has been done. A family court hearings were held in Greenville, Ori, Charleston, and Sumter counties to finalize public adoptions. Now, officials with the State Department of Social Services say at the start of this month, there were more than 140 children who were available for adoption from the state's foster care system. DSS works year round, not just in November, not just on adoption day, to really celebrate and, and find those bonds of permanency for children and families. And so we are on track for 2023 to be the highest number of adoptions over the last five years. DSS officials say there is a need for more foster families and adoptive parents all across South Carolina. The greatest need in South Carolina for both foster care and adoption is for families who are willing to take foster children and adoptive homes for children that are older, maybe older youth and teenagers, as well as sibling groups, because we want to try to maintain those sibling bonds as much as possible, as well as children that might be medically fragile or need additional support. Now in 2022, there are 575 public adoptions finalized in South Carolina. In Sumter County, Jason Raven, 7 News. And keep in mind, November is National Adoption Month.